Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to check me out. My name is Melissa, for those of you who do not know, I am also known as Green Eyed Phoenix Goddess here on YouTube. I am a Pisces, but I love all signs. I love everybody. I love a little something about everybody, right? So please feel free to look at the playlist, see if something resonates with you. We hope that you'll join the family. And to my returning subscribers, you guys know how much I love and appreciate you so, so much. Always appreciate the love and support, guys. You know that. Um, as always, guys, you know, these readings are always very general. But if you want something personal, you know, you can book with me. Anything pertaining to my channel, you'll always find a link down below. My um, email, you know, how to book with me, my website, how to donate to the channel, my Instagram, my Facebook. Any other kind of like pertinent information is always going to be linked down below for you. Alrighty? So, with all that being said, let's get right into the video, guys. Okay, guys, good morning. Welcome back to Pick a Pile for Thursday, January 21st, 21st. There's something with that number. <clears throat> I read up on it the other day on Instagram. There's something like with that synchronicity, like with that, that, like with that number that way. Anyway, and anyway, this is your Pick a Pile for today, guys, for Thursday. So, I have selenite here for pile one, which is obviously for protection, clearing energy, right? Um, I have the dreamstone plus the pyrite here for pile two. And we know that the pyrite's for luck and the dreamstone. And then I have my amethyst one here. And amethyst I used a lot, you know, to like connect and feel like in tune, like with my gifts and stuff, you know? So with all that being said, I'm gonna let you guys concentrate for a minute. And then I think we'll do the singing bowl just to see what we get. And then we'll get started. All right. So again, I want you guys to breathe in and breathe out and just really kind of like just take in whatever good memories, whatever positive vibes that you're feeling, whatever's going well, whatever's making you feel joyful at this time, just take that and really try to bring it from your heart space to your head space, from your head space to your heart space. Like kind of try to combine the two, try to align everything. And just when you get that moment, just close your eyes, take that deep breath in and that deep breath out and let's get started. Mm -hmm. I just felt a lot of back and forth, you know, there's a lot of you that I feel like there's a lot of back and forth with, like a lot of tug and pull in regards to certain things. It, it's literally with, it could be anything particular in life, but it's just anything like tug and pull with that type of energy that a lot of you are kind of like going through right now. Um, I know that the Mercury retrograde is coming up soon. I think it's like towards the end of January. I think it's like January 30th, it's like February 4th or something when I was reading up on it. So, you know, sometimes a little, couple of weeks before that you could feel wonky or even like a week. So just be super mindful of that energy because I definitely just did pick up on that energy for sure. Like just very tuck and pull, tuck and pull, tuck and pull. And you know, you always want to try to stay balanced, right? All right, guys. So with all that being said, let's jump right in to pile number one. Mm -hmm. Yep, see, there's a strong message here for you guys in pound number one that you need to change. There's a change that needs to happen here. It's a strong message about work, though. It says cut away what's no longer needed for you, right? You deserve more money, and it's telling you to make the change. And it's also saying to meditate, quiet the mind, and let your soul speak, which I was just saying that everybody, we have to try to get like more balanced, right? Like more aligned. So there's a strong message here though, this is for work. Like a lot of you in this pile are thinking about like back and forth, should I take the job? Should I not take the job? If I took the job, is it gonna be successful? Is it not gonna be successful? There are certain things that Spirit is saying you have to let pan out. You're not always gonna know exactly what's gonna be behind every single door that you walk through. 
you're just never going to know every single thing. The only thing you'll ever know is guidance and teaching you how you feel and how to properly diagnose those emotions to ask to whether or not you continue with the connection or you cut the connection. Do you know what I mean? If that makes sense. So there's just a really strong message that you guys have to get really strong with your spiritual journey here, like by meditating, you know, journaling, really trying to figure out what you want to do in regards to that decision about like the work thing, because this is a very strong message about work here that you guys are really like a, like scared to take the leap. You're scared of failure. You're fearing that it's not going to work out. You have to cut away what no longer serves you. If there's something that you don't feel at home at or you don't feel stable at or anything like that, yes, you have to make money. Absolutely. You don't want to just beggars be choosers and just throw anything away. Absolutely not. No, absolutely not. But what I'm saying is if you really truly feel something in your heart and soul and in the fiber of your being, nobody should judge you about whether or not you love something that was giving you money or you took a risk or whatever. Nobody has any right to judge you on anything. If you chose to leave your job without having another job first, that's your problem. That's not anybody else's problem. So the way if you're positive about your outcome, what the hell does it matter to anybody else? You feel me? Like, it's just kind of like, who cares? If you're good, <laughs> right? And you're... You're following your guides and you're following your path and you're living in your freaking truth. And then here comes somebody else talks about, oh, but why'd you quit? And then you still don't have another. Oh, well, yeah, you're right. Thank you for that logical perspective. But I was going for what I thought was right for my path. So thank you. And next. Exactly. Right. So that's what the strong message is here for you guys, pile one, for sure. And don't forget to meditate. Like, even if, if even if you, you're thinking like meditate, oh, my God. I got to put on this, you know, music or whatever. It, you can meditate in your own manner. The main thing to do when you're meditating is to be able to try to connect. Whether that be it for you sitting still, sitting quietly. You don't have to put any music or any, you know, grounded meditations or any guided, you know, meditations or like that. If for you sitting still and really thinking allows you to sit and really get in full meditation mode and connect, then do that. Nobody is going to judge you on what it is that you choose to you know, used to meditate with. Like, it's totally up to you. They're just giving you a strong message of connecting, like really trying to connect, not even with them, but with yourself. Like making sure that you keep yourself centered, okay? All right, that's what I have for you guys in pile one. Pile number two, which is your message. Let's see. Oh, I got chills when I read that. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you guys in pile two, you guys have a new love coming. You guys have a new love coming. This is so, this message is coming in so strong for this pile right here. You guys have a new love coming, but here's the, here's the, cause obviously there's always like a, okay, you know, whatever. So they're saying that, okay, you're overwhelmed right now with a lot of stuff. You're overwhelmed with feelings of love. You're overwhelmed with pain about love. You're overwhelmed, whether it be with work too, okay? You're overwhelmed with trying to manage your day and act like you're not hurting about something, right? This is a, a big message for this pile right here, okay? You are in the mode right now where you need to slow down and you need to self-reflect. They're asking you to self-explore here, peel off the false persona and get to know yourself to find your truth. You guys need to find your truth because you guys have love coming in here. Let me tell you, you guys have love coming, like love for sure. And look, you guys got forgive, okay, and red. And look at it's roses, it's 10, it's a completion of something, a start of something new, right? Being able to forgive and have those feelings and emotions dealt with to balance yourself and be open for the new idea of love, right? But it's a strong message of slowing down because you need to be able to be at that frequency and that vibration to start to notice the synchronicities of when they're gonna send you someone, okay? Because there's another strong message here saying that synchronicity is a love letter from the universe across time and space, all right? So once you get yourself balanced here, once you do this work here, right? By really working to forgive, not only yourself, but others, really trying to self-explore, really figure out how you're gonna, you know, go about your journey, how are you going to go about your life, how are you going to map out your life, right? Don't get overwhelmed by the thoughts and feelings. You have to learn to slow down and just keep yourself balanced. Once you do that and you're fully aligned, you're going to start to notice synchronicities if you haven't already. Because for some of you, you could be already doing this work. Because remember, you know, the energy, past, present, future, it could be like it's 
literally you could already be in this going on right now or it's gonna happen or you already went through it and you know it's not your message but you have to slow down self-reflect self-care okay make sure you go inside forgive and once you do that you will start to notice synchronicities you'll start to notice maybe certain animals constantly like why am i always seeing this or you'll start to notice different number you know sequences like why am i always seeing like i'm always seeing this or just numbers in general or you'll be drawn to things right whenever you're drawn to something however weird or awkward you think it may be pay attention because it's the universe trying to send you messages like we're, we're letting you know, like, you're good, you know, like, you're on the right path or whatever. So just pay super, super, super duper attention to those signs, all right? But once you guys do that, oh my gosh, I felt like such cool, like, love coming in. Almost like, um, for some of you, it's like, well, I'm only picking up on this type. So it could be for a particular um, person that picked this pile. But I'm picking up, like, the new person coming in is going to be that type of person that you could go, like, dancing and, like, karaoke with, like, you guys will have like a very, very like silly like relationship when you finally have the time to hang out together because I'm picking up that you don't get to do that right now. But once you get to like hang out, you guys have hung out and you've had fun, you've had laughs, but you've never really like hung out together together, like just by like yourselves. And so when you guys finally get to do that, like on a like actually hanging out level, not a physical level, like being intimate, but like once you guys get to do that, you're going to have so much fun. Like, it's going to be such a fun, flowy, like, connection. Very sweet. Anyway. Pile number three. My amethyst wand. All right. <clears throat> Soul giraffe. You guys got contract, don't sign. Nostalgia. Focus on the here and now. And shadow work. Okay. So, first and foremost, hold up. Because. Where is that one? Where did I put that one? Oh, here we go, guys. Sorry. I want to see what else the message is for that soul giraffe. Because I felt something when I saw it, but I just want to, like, double confirm. And plus, I love the messages in here. Okay. So, the attributes are vision, grace, higher advantage, seeing obstacles, the soul giraffe is here to help you with your grander vision to allow you to see higher and further. The long neck of the soul giraffe gives you an elevated view of what's on the horizon as well as another vantage of points of the big picture. We're also reminded that perhaps we cannot label something as good or bad, right or wrong, unless we can see the full picture. The giraffe gracefully glides along the path, spotting what others cannot. These are potential questions to ask yourself. If I could see higher and further, what would I see? What is on the horizon for this situation? Instead of the low hanging fruit, what if I went for the lofty fruit? What might be within my grasp if I went higher in my thinking or viewpoint? What danger is up ahead that I haven't seen yet? All right, so that's in regards to the soul giraffe, which I figured as much, that's kind of like what I picked up as well, but. I just like the extra messages, you know, like sometimes I always never really go with the Oracle because I just always get messages for the cards themselves. But a lot of times for some reason, I, I don't know when I feel drawn to do it, I, I do it. All right. And then focus on the here and now. So we have that one over here. Where is it? Focus on the here and now. You're spending the majority of the time daydreaming, wondering what could have been if only things had gone the way you wanted. By doing this, you aren't giving yourself a fair chance. Truth is, there's nothing you can do to change what happened, no matter how many scenarios you craft in your mind. Make improvements to your present, not your imaginary. Be sure to nurture what you've been given. Mm -hmm. So there's some shadow work that needs to be done here, okay? There's some shadow work that needs to be done here for sure. They're saying uncover every part of you that has been repressed and abandoned, all right? So just really quick, because I want to tie it together. That's exactly what they're saying to you with the nostalgia thing. You see the message? That's hilarious. See, I love how it comes together. So they're basically saying you have shadow work to do. Like you have to reflect on, you know, times that maybe you've made a mistake where you learned from that mistake. So like, what was the mistake? Like they're asking you to seriously do shadow work, like really go back and try to figure out the type of person that you are, the type of person that you were, and the type of person that you want to be. Like they want you to do some serious 
serious shadow work here. And there's also a really strong message too about while you're kind of doing the shadow work, if there's something that comes up as far as like something signing like contracts or um, any type of legal type of document or even signing something for like a friend, like if a friend says, oh, hey, sign this for me, whatever the case, whatever is popping up like that, maybe like in this point today, because obviously this is for like, you know, the day reading, but don't sign anything. Like they're just saying it's not, just make sure you look at everything, read everything, but don't sign. Maybe like don't sign today. Just maybe think it over, read it. Like, don't just make any hasty decisions today because you guys are very much in this mode of having this shadow work that you're going through. Like, you're soul searching. You're trying to, you know, look past things. You're trying to do the work. Like, you guys are trying, you know, and they know you are. But they just want to give you that guidance of don't forget, you know, to continue to do that work. All right? So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope this resonates and I hope it helps. I am really loving all these decks and it's just so much fun. I love it, love it, love it. I'll think about what I'm going to do for Friday's um, pick a pile or if I'll do messages. I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes, listen, I just always go by what, you know, I feel or what I'm guided to do. And so I don't ever put, you know, set things with it. So I just love doing it this way as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.